Hi guys, welcome to another unpacking video. Today I've had uh, uh, well, a nice big parcel arrive uh, and yesterday I had the, these beauties pop through the old uh, letterbox. First up is a Fantasy World Dizzy on the Spectrum. Now I really love the, the artwork for this game and it's actual, as it says, actual uh, Spectrum screenshots. Gorgeous bit of artwork, one of my all time favourite Spectrum games that. Uh, and then the other one, because it was part of the same lot, was uh, Treasure Island Dizzy. I really do like the covers on these, these are quite nifty. Anyway, let's crack the box open. Yep, yeah, so, let's have a gander. Now, uh, in case you're wondering, it is more tapes. So I've given the game away. But I'm going Spectrum all the way at the moment. Uh, hack, 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 hack. Let's get inside. Come on, come on. See what goodies we've got. Here we go, here we go. Right then. Well packed to the uh, cellar. Chap called uh, Rocket Rockabilia. Right, let's see. <laughs> A bit too well packed, I'm afraid. Right, let's get the box out of the way. Move everything to one side so we can actually see what we're doing. Right. Ugh. My God. Oh, it's all coming out. It's all coming out. Oh, it's a gander. Right. First up, we've got lots and lots of plastic. I'm not too pleased about that. It's the right paint to clean up after. Right. I've, First up is Tau Seti. Uh, this is a Mastertronic uh, Ricochet game. Uh, and then we also have Night Law. Uh, it's not very good screenshots on that one, so you can't really make it out. But Was that the rare or the ultimate one? Or am I thinking of so? Oh, there's no bloody screenshots on the back of that. What a jip. I mean, can you imagine? You'd be in the bleeding shop looking, oh, it's a great cover. You look at the background, there's nothing there. That's meant to be a, a really, really good game. Uh, basically what I've decided to do, uh, whilst I've been playing uh, the Spectrum so much, is uh, I think I'm going to go after a full Mastertronic collection. So uh, I've uh, bought a fair few tapes. What's this? Oh, it's actually a shop. They don't sponsor this video, this is just what's in the uh, eBay package. Oh, they've got a website. If you want to go and have a look there, Pretty tough with these, they're actually uh, very, very cheap considering. I think it are about £15 for all these. And the guy said he was going to, because I spent so much, he was going to throw in a free game. Next up, we have Hacker. I uh, heard very, very, very good things about this. But I think I need the original tape to be able to learn how to play it. Trailblazer. It's uh, quite hard graphics on that one. Oh. Action Reflex. I don't know what that is. Is that like a Manic Miner style? I can't even see. Next one, Super Stock Car. And that's a Mastertronic Plush. The thing is about 150 games all told. I've got them all on an Excel sheet. I'm, uh, like I say, I've just picked it at random from this seller because he had loads and loads of them. But uh, that doesn't look like too bad of a game, actually. I'll never get through these in time. Here we go. What's up? This one is Silkworm. But that's a shooter. Sort of. A bit like Choplifter, by the looks of it. Then we have, oh, the ever classic Double Dragon. I can't even remember when I last played that on this Becky. Blast and slash like you've never done it before. It's a cracker. Your Sinclair. Oh, it'll be a good game then if they reviewed it like that. Graphics don't look too bad. Then next up is 3D Pinball. Actually, that's not bad. Sort of a 3D graphics. Cheating a bit. 2 99 that one, Bill, looks a bit on the price. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next lot. Far too many games, God knows how long it's going to take to load each of these, but that's all part of the fun. Next up is Speed Zone. This is uh, 
That might be a Mastertronic Plus as well. Oh, it has a flippy, so that must mean it's got a different cover. We'll just have a look in a second. Too sure about the picks on that. Let's just crack this one open. Flippy, flippy, flippy. No, oh, no, it doesn't it doesn't actually flip into anything, so I don't know. Unless that just means flippy is in Amstrad on one side, yeah. Amstrad one side, Spectrum on the other. I'm just a bit off. <clears throat> I, I can't even read that. Jode, Jack, Jonah Barrington Squash. I have no idea what that'll be like. That doesn't actually look too bad. Anyway, interesting. Next up is Fighting Warrior. Uh, oh, that looks alright actually, the graphics. There's Fighting Warrior, champion of all Egypt. You must use all of your powers of combat and fighting expertise in this Arquake K quest to rescue the beautiful princess. Eh. Oh, not sure about this one. Sailing. Mm, oh, that's actually, again, that doesn't look too bad. That's uh, our graphics anyway. These must be much later games for it. I don't know where this free game is this is going to include. That might be in uh, the later delivery. We've got a fair few on the way. Right, next up is our classic Dan Dare. I remember playing this in the 80s when I was a, a, a kid. I seem to recall hating it, but maybe I've changed and all these years later. Probably not. Uh, fifth Quadrant. Uh, oh, that looks almost like a graphic adventure. How weird. It doesn't say it just gives you the story. Uh, what's next? Oh, Sue Townsend. This is Growing Pains of Adrian Mole. It's a text adventure. I've done a C64 version of this ages ago. It was a pretty good game, as I recall. Oh, I had to get this and I saw it. Action Force. G.I. Joe. Anyway. That's a bit like uh, Bionic Commando in a way with a graphical style. Acid? Elsid! <laughs> Who's selling acid to children? Anyway. Oh, that's a 3D sort of uh, explorer. Oh, it's a great name. Starfass! <laughs> Is it a shooter? Top down shooter? Okay. That'd be interesting. I will do a video of at least some of these as I'm going along. I don't know how or what or when, but here's one. Raw Recruit. Oh, that does not look like the best of games. I'm piling all these off to the side. It's easy to keep leaning forward. Right, Pulse Warrior. That is quite neat artwork. That's very 90s actually. We'll have a look at the game on the back. Hmm, very almost Zelda like, but it'll be a commando style, I bet. Vector Ball, Vector Ball. Oh, it's Marble Madness like. Sneaky. And here we go, the last two in this pile for today I'm afraid is Rockford the arcade game and he seems to be picking up a truck. No an arcade that's an arcade machine, I can't even see it. Anyway <laughs> Whoa it's uh it's like Boulder Dash. Oh cool, anyway. And last but not least is on cue. Uh, I've got no oh, this is gonna gonna work, but oh it's just that I don't know what to say with the graphics on that. Control that cue ball, a challenging real life simulation which combines pool and snooker on the same cassette. An absolute must for both for both enthusiasts and beginners. Programmed by Sean DeBray. I have no idea who that is. It answers in the comments below. Is he famous? Was he famous? God knows. But I'll give it a whirl, it's all part of the uh, Mastertronic collection. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> I thought there was more. And so I've got a lot of other stuff on the way, so I will do another video when it finally gets here. But yeah, that's it for now I'm afraid. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, please look forward to another video soon.